Marcus Lauren, congratulations. All matches at the All England are tough, but you made that look very easy. Are you pleased with that performance? Um, me? Yeah, yeah, really pleased. I think, you know, um, first round's always a bit, um, you, like, not nervy, but you've got to get used to the conditions. You never know what's going to happen. Um, we've not played them before, so it was a bit unexpected. Um, but I think we, we settled in quite well, second half of the first set especially. You know, really got into our rhythm and played the conditions of the hall well. Um, so yeah, it wasn't it wasn't an easy game by any stretch, but I think we really kind of put our foot on the pedal uh, midway through that first set, and we didn't really take it off. I mean, we got ahead in the second, maybe slowed a little bit, lost our kind of tactical focus, but we we managed to keep like a three point cushion, uh, which I think is is really important to assert your dominance in in the early rounds. Um, as we all know, there's a little bit of a British battle going on for the for the Olympics in the mixed doubles. Now that you've won your first round match, you, will you be keeping an eye on uh, Chris and Gabby Adcock? Uh, I mean, it, you know, we, we've gone through this whole year, and we've had, we, I'm, I'm sure they would say the same. They've had ups and downs along the way, and I think the more you focus on other people, you're just taking the um, taking any focus or attention away from yourselves, and you end up not performing as well as you should. Um, so that you know especially this year we've really tried to just really focus on ourselves because we know it's a really crucial time these last few months um, and to be honest whoever goes deserves to go you know they've, they've just been better throughout the year um, and I won't wish bad on anyone you know but at the end of the day if we go out and win again tomorrow or the day after we deserve to go if Chris and Gabby do it they deserve to go um, so you know I'm, I'm, I definitely have anything bad to say about it but as long as we have representation there I guess it's a good thing. Lastly, uh, despite the COVID-19 uh, concerns, there was a great crowd out there. Uh, did you hear them on, on court? Because they're really getting behind, of, behind you. Yeah, we did. They were brilliant. You know, I think there's been a lot of concern leading up to the event about how, how's the turnout going to be. And, uh, you know, I think Birmingham and, and England have really shown that they, they love badminton and they want to be here. And for a lot of people, it's a highlight of the year because there's not many um, world-class competitions in, in the country. So people want to come and see it and people want to see it live as well because I think it's, um, you know, it's a really special event. So, yeah, obviously always love the crowd here and it is great to have them behind you in those, in those matches. And so, yeah, happy that they've, they've turned out and risked the, <laughs> the conditions. Brilliant stuff and best of luck tomorrow. Thank, Thank you very much. Cheers.